What's up, everybody? This is Jamie from JT French's. Giving an update on Dior. Yeah, she, uh, she been doing, uh, she been doing a good job with the pups. Uh, they been sucking the shit out of, I tell you that. But right now I have, uh, 10 pups. Everybody looking good. Everybody look like they're going to make it. So, like I'm over that hump period. So, so they look real strong and promising. So, now fat, I'm going to shoot a video of them today. Just give her some time to relax a little bit. Take her away from the pups. And what I do to give mom a break, I try to give her uh, a break like every three hours away from the pups. Because if not, they're going to continue to drain on her ass. But she's doing good right now. But, yeah, she's doing real good. And uh, she eating a little bit more now. So she's going to go through a transition. They're still looking slim here and there because she got puppies still feeding off of her. So I just try to feed her a little bit more than I um, usually do. Um... That being said, man, them Gucci puppies is crazy. It's crazy, man. Um, I'm thinking about keeping three out the little. That's a lot, but they're crazy, man. I don't even know which ones to keep. I know definitely I'm keeping the Merle Gucci. But all of them is so consistent with their heads. Well, I ain't going to say all of them. Out of seven... Five of them is like damn nearly like compact and look pretty good, you know. The other two, they straight. They all right. They all right. But, uh, man, it look like I got what I want. You know, I got, uh, I got the Merle, uh, Gucci boy. Also, man, I got the structure to go along with it. These should be some nice compact Frenchies. Some nice compact Frenchies. So they and they breed to produce. So their bloodline is real tight, tight, tight because I took Gucci to his uh, his niece. So whatever you breed him to, he should be able to produce Gucci or himself. And this Look at that girl. She's skinny as hell. Yeah. It's all right though, she gonna bounce back. She did got them African skinny. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Oh, my bad about that, but yeah. She uh, she slim. She'll get the weight back, though. That's part of what's going on. As long as I maintain a, um, a good, healthy diet for her, she'll bounce back. Usually my girls bounce back. Usually my girls bounce back about three to four weeks after they have puppies. I tend to walk them, exercise them, and just give them uh, good quality dog food. And which uh, a lot of my girls, well, all my dogs, they get fresh water every time they go outside. Fresh water. I don't let the water sit in no bucket, no pan, none of that. Every time my dogs go outside, they get fresh water. And that's what I try to do. Oh, yeah. That's that goddamn type of wood grass right there. See how green that bitch is? It's that type of wood grass. This right here, this the project area. This way it go down it. This where all the rumble in the jungle fights happen right here. This the projects right there. They know to keep this shit over here. Over there. This right here, this is the tiger wood grass area. All you do, just look 
walk and just look at the green. That's the hood there. That's why all the shit go down. All of it. The fights, the nastiness, everything. It go down in the hood right there. They keep that shit right there. Look at the rest of that shit. See, this the hood area. <laughs> anyway, back to Dior. I don't know what the hell she eating on. But, just wanted to get y'all up there on Dior. Uh, the puppies doing good. Uh, the total count of puppies uh, for a set is, I think I have uh, four males and six girls. And um, they all uh, maybe four solid lilacs, uh, two lilacs and tan, one um, merle, one um, lilac and tan merle. So I got six girls, four boys. And my boys in this litter is crazy. I can't keep two boys, but... <sighs> There's some good boys and I'm gonna make a video about that. But thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, and share. I guess shit. I'm out.